Hello, welcome to a new video from me on Julia. Today we will continue to talk about functions. Um, today I will uh, thread uh, uh, positional arguments, optional arguments and default uh, values, uh, variable, number, variable number of arguments and keyword arguments. Um, so let's start with optional arguments. Uh, now, oft, often uh, arguments have a natural default types, or you have so many types that, uh, um, yeah, it's easier to give some default values to uh, some uh, arguments and then uh, change them if necessary. So um, I made an example: uh, power and sum. V and V is an is an um, is an array and power is has default value two is uh, sum V I uh, I turn give uh, to, um, first I calculate the power of each element of the array. And then sum them all. So um, if I do power and sum uh, 3, 4, that gives 25 because 3 squared plus 4 squared is 25. And if I do power and sum 3, 4, factor 3, 4, and power 3, I get 91. Because 3 to the power 3 plus 4 to the power 3 is 91. Uh, if I define f uh, a is 2, b is 3, this a plus b, it generates three methods uh, that we can check with methods f. These are um, f a b is a plus b, so that's what you define, and then f a. And that's when I mean, you have only one argument and it defaults b to 3, so it uh, calculates fa3. Or uh, without arguments, uh, it uh, calculates f23. So um, let's see what happens. fa is 2, b is 3, is a plus b. And if do methods, F, it tells me that there are three methods. So, um, yeah. Um, let's check. Now we uh, are going to talk about a variable number of arguments. And uh, you define them with dot, dot, dot after the argument. And um, that can have an arbitrary inclusive zero number of arguments. And internally, x is treated as a uh, tuple. And it goes after the normal argument. So if you have multiple, yes, if you have some um, mandatory arguments a and b, or maybe even some. Um, optional argument and then x goes x dot dot goes uh, as last so uh, if we define um, for instance g x dot 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 is x then if i do g one two three i get the tuple one two three back or g uh, without arguments, I get a uh, tuple without arguments and g1, 2, 3, so g with the tuple 1, 2, 3 gets back in a tuple with as first argument the tuple with uh, 1, 2, 3 and um, yeah. Uh, so um, if we define for instance h x is x2 then it uh, gets the second argument so if I do uh, 8, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4 
get the two back for eight one two also two for eight a b c and then x the um, character x and one and hundred i get uh, x back We can uh, combine normal arguments with the variable number of arguments. So, for instance, um, if I define j a b x dot 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 is uh, a b x, and if I do j one two three, for instance, I get a triple with three arguments, and the third is. Uh, the tuple with the uh, element 3. Or if I do uh, 1, 2, then I get an empty tuple here. But you need to give at least uh, two arguments. If I try to use one J1, then it gives uh, an error because uh, I haven't given the B argument. And here, uh, in the definition, the x with the three dots has to go at the end. It uh, has to go after a and b. Now let's go to um, keyword arguments. Uh, in the function definition, uh, keyword arguments are separated from the arg other arguments with the dot comma syntax. Uh, in the function call, uh, you need to use the mandatory keyword is value syntax, and uh, the order of arguments is not important, and um, the order in which the keyword arguments are used. And there are also a variable number of arguments. So let's go to some uh, examples. Um, so, for instance, if I define k x comma a so x is the normal argument and a is the keyword argument so i define x comma a and then the a has to be used in the function call so if i do uh, x a is 2 then it gives uh, 1 2 but if i try to use k 1 2 then it gives an error because uh, Although I have defined this, the a as, as kind of the second argument, you, you still have to use the keywords. Um, and the order is not important, so I can also type a is 2 and then 1, that's also okay. And keyword arguments can also have the... Um, 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 default arguments, of course. So um, I defined colorful sum that has, has some uh, variable number of arguments and has a keyword color, which is by default uh, the Kayan color, and it um, sums the arguments and um, it prints it with color. Color um, by default is that Kayan, but I can also change that. So let's copy paste that into the Julia session. And if I try color for sum one, two, three, it prints six in the color Kayan. But if I want to use an uh, other color, color is uh, magenta, then it prints in magenta. And instead of the comma, I can also here separate with dot comma, but that's not necessary. That's almost only necessary in the function uh, definition. And also here, the order of the arguments is not important. So I can also type here, color is red, 2, 1, color is red, and 2, 3, and it, then it prints 6 in the color red. Um, 
Yeah, so uh, you can also have a, a variable number of arguments, of course. So I've made the function describe animal that has no normal arguments and has uh, a variable number of keyword arguments. So, and then um, basically char characteristics uh, becomes internally uh, an um, dictionary of uh, keywords and values. So, uh, and we can, of course, uh, make a for loop over all the arguments and then um, it prints characteristic and then the characteristic and the value. So let's do that. Um, so if I have described animal, uh, name is uh, cats. Uh, number of legs is uh, four. And uh, yeah, then it says uh, characteristic name cats, number of legs four, or describe uh, animal. You can also do give zero arguments, so then it's uh, going to loop over an empty dictionary and then nothing happens, of course. But I can also give uh, more arguments. So, uh, for instance, if I also add a keyword number of lives, oh, lives is nine, it tells us that number of lives is nine. Okay, um, now let's combine everything. Um, so a function consists, the arguments consist of uh, mandatory arguments, uh, optional arguments, can, has, can have a variable number of arguments. Then after the dot comma, you get the keyword arguments and they can be mandatory. They can be optional, and then you all can also have a variable number of keyword arguments. So I made a uh, made up example um, here, magical arguments that has some uh, mandatory arguments, an optional arguments, and then some variable number of arguments set, and then keyword arguments, mandatory keyword arguments A and B. A default value 2 for a keyword C and then some arbitrary number of arguments and then I'm going to print the uh, the um, as you write here a variable number of arguments And I'm going to print this all, and then, um, yeah, let's see what happens. So if I'm, uh, magical arguments, one, two, A is three, B is four, going to print uh, all the arguments so um, we provided uh, w and x now y uh, is the default value we haven't changed it um, we provided um, the mandatory keyword arguments a is 3 and b is 4 and c was optional so we haven't changed this it and then uh, we haven't provided any optional uh, or a variable number of arguments, and it's going to print everything. And I have here in another example. Um, not to get a copy, no. So, um, magical arguments one, two, three, four, five, six. A is uh, 
the character A, B is the character B, and book is the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and number is 42, and it's going to uh, print this all. So that's uh, a lot of fun. You are now going to the exercises. So the first exercise is uh, define FABX is ABX and GABX dot 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 is ABX dot dot dot. So what is F12? What is G12? What is F1234? And what is G1234? Explain the difference. Try to understand what happens. Uh, what happens if you pass F with uh, the triple 1, 2, 3 or G with the triple 1, 2, 3? And what happens if you pass uh, F with the triple 1, 2, 3 dot 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 or G 1, 2, 3 dot dot dot? What happens? So check it out. Then exercise 2. Um, let n be a natural number, 1, 2, 3, etc. Then n is a perfect number if the sum of all the factors f smaller than n is equal to n. So, for instance, 6 is a perfect number because all the factors uh, 1, 2, and 3 that are smaller than 6 sum up to 6. Uh, 8 is not perfect because it has factors 1, 2, and 4 which are smaller than 8, and they sum up to 7, and 7 is not equal to 8, of course. But uh, 28 is perfect because the factors 1, 2, 4, 7, 14, they sum up to 28. Now, your uh, task is to, um, to um, make a function is perfect n that returns true when n is perfect and false otherwise. And you should uh, check that 128, 496, and 8128 are the only perfect numbers smaller than 10,000. So perfect numbers are uh, very, uh, um, yeah, very rare. And um, I already did that, of course. Is per um, or not? Is perfect. One. Yes, I did. Uh, it's perfect. Six. True. It's perfect. Twenty-eight. It's true. It's perfect. Twenty-nine. False. And if I do a for loop over all numbers smaller than ten thousand, or i in one to ten thousand, if it's perfect, i print line i and 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 you see uh, I made my program correct uh, I give uh, all the perfect numbers smaller than 10,000 so yeah good luck with this exercise and then we have a third exercise um, so prim twines uh, Twin primes are uh, a pair of prime numbers P and Q that differ by 2. So P, Q minus P is 2. Then you also have cosine primes, that is a pair of prime numbers P, Q, with uh, Q minus P is 4. And then you also have the sexy primes, that are prime numbers P, Q, with Q minus P is equal to 6. And uh, generally, uh, k-related primes are a pair of primes with pq with q minus p is k. Now we should uh, define a function next prime pair n distance is 2. So this is, is a keyword argument with default 2. So by default, you are going to uh, look for twin primes that uh, finds the next pair of distance-related primes. Of it's the verses at least n. So uh, I also did that, of course. So uh, next prime pair is two, three, and five. That's a uh, prime pair, and next prime 
there are 1987, uh, distance is 6, and that's 1987 and 1993. So I should find a girlfriend who is born in 1993. Good luck with uh, the exercise and see you next time.